Welcome to Acme Software Works, where the craft of software engineering is practiced. In this video, we will be exploring the merge sort algorithm. The merge sort is efficient sorting algorithm that uses a divide and conquer approach to sort an array of elements. The merge sort divides the unsorted array into smaller subarrays, sorts these subarrays, and then merge them back together into a single sorted array. This process continues recursively until the entire array is sorted. The implementation of the merge sort algorithm contains two function, one that recursively divides the array into two sub arrays until they contains only one element. Note a single element is considered sorted by default, then the second function, which is called at the end of the first, merges sub arrays back into the main array. And then, as the first function traverses back up the recursive stack and calls the second function which merges the larger sub-arrays which are now sorted. Though when the first function completely traverses back up the recursive stack all the sub-arrays will merge back to the main array which then will be completely sorted. Now let's watch as this unfolds. The first function, the merge sort, won't call the second function, the merge, until the variable left is equal to right which makes the size of the subarray, 1. By doing this, when the subarrays are merged back to the main array, that portion of the main array will be in sort. And that portion will be a subsequent subarray as the merge sort function traverses back up the stack. The two functions variables are shown here and will be current with the simulation. You will notice that on occasion the index variables will be outside the bounds of the array they're assigned to. In this case the display will indicate this by displaying two red dashes. The merge function is given three arguments which are used to create the subarrays or segments, and once the segments are allocated, they are then populated with elements from the main array, and then the segments are merged back into the main array in place of the elements that had been used to populate the segments. When the merge is complete there may be elements in one of the segments which have not been returned to the main array, and because the segments were in sort, the remaining elements can simply be returned to the main array. Note the recursive call stack, each time a recursive call is made it will be displayed here, with an arrow showing which internal call was made, either the segment to left or the right. Note the maximum depth that has been reached will be indicated here. The progress of the segments is shown here, with an arrow indicating whether it's the segment defined by the merge sort or the merge function. You will notice that the segments defined by the merge function will be sorted, while the those defined by the merge sort function are not. The segments progress is also color coded. The left segments defined by the merge sort function are magenta while the right are green. The left segments defined by the merge function are yellow and the right segments are cyan. The segments merging is shown here, as well as the main array's current state, the left and right segments are shown directly below the portion of the main array from which they were taken, and the elements of the main array will be replaced with a box showing where the elements will be merged back to the main array. And as the merge is taking place a line showing which two elements are being compared will appear, then an arrow will appear below indicating which element is smaller and will be merged back to the main array. Note that the subarrays are half of the previous array. And that if the previous array was an odd number the first half, which is to the left will have one more element than the subarray to the right. The merge sorts big O is consistently n log n. Now let's speed it up and watch it finish. Please like and subscribe.
and thank you for watching.